Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sheriff Aldean here, back with another video. Today's video, we'll be taking a quick look at the Nike Drake Nocta Puffer. It is a very highly demanded item, and I'm gonna guys go over the full review behind the camera. But before that, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and hit that bell so you don't miss one of these videos. And now let's get right behind the camera and review the yellow Nocta Puffer. Now that we have the Nocta Puffer behind the camera, I did get it in this all yellow colorway. I think it was the cleanest one and you might as well go out all out for this collab. Might as well stand out, that's what I did. I did not want the black one because it was kind of too subtle for my tasting. I did kind of like this yellow one a little bit more and I definitely believe that this is a pretty clean puffer and I'll show you guys some hidden details that you guys probably didn't see. It's a lot of nice details and aspects and it's just super clean. Starting with the tag, which you got here is a baby blue tag. I'll go up and close. It's a Nike baby blue tag. It is a $400 re retail. It's pretty expensive, but you do get a lot of warmth out of it and use. It is a men's, and then you get that regular Nike logo, and then the Nocta logo right at the bottom. And then right here, super nice Nocta and Nike logo with the shooting stars. Really, really nice. I like that touch a lot. And then moving on to the jacket, what you got here is Nocta in black. It is 3M. All the faded words are 3M. So that's pretty cool. And you just get this all yellow gold all around this puffer. Um, very nice materials and very nicely done. You get that nice leather tab Nike swoosh. It is embossed out of the jacket. Really clean. Taking a look at the zippers, you get two, two zippers. They open it up just like regular zippers, and then you get this baby blue tag inside. For sizing on this specifically, I definitely would go for half a size up, a size up if you want that more baggier feel, or go just true to size if you just want a jacket regular. I use just go at one size up because I just want that baggier feel. So moving down to the jacket, you get these pockets, which are pretty warm inside, and you do have a zipper that feels nice on both. So moving from the inside of the puffer, you do get this nice compatible uh, pouch and then you get another pouch inside of it and it does have gray in it really nice that's a nice subtle detail that they did put and you could carry your phone your wallet anything that you need and then inside it's just super warm as you so you also do get at the bottom these double zippers it's a pretty cool touch and it makes it look nice and also at the bottom the back of the jacket is longer than the front just a note and heads up you will see that on the body too also you do get the uh knock the logo right there the three shooting stars and then when you move up from there you get the velcro band on your wrist to adjust how you want the feel of it and it does say cl on the left and then awr on the right right there super nice just those small little details that really do make up the jacket very very nice so what you have here at the top of the back of the jacket this rubberized knock the logo at the back and then you get the Nike inside logo embossed. It's a pretty big Nike logo. I do like that. That is pretty much the star of the show. That's why everybody is hyping it all about. And then it's again, like I said, it is a warm jacket. And then when you move down to the jacket, you get CL and then AWR. The AWR means all wrongs reserved for copy left. Uh, but overall, really nice jacket. I do like it a lot, especially in this yellow colorway. It was super limited too. It was hard to grab. Uh, there's currently right now three colorways out. There's the baby blue one, which is F and F. I think only Drake has that one with like just F and F friends and family. The yellow and black did release in the public and it was on Nocta's website and it was on the Nike sneakers app. I got it off the sneakers app. So even though it isn't a sneaker, but it's really nice. Happy to get it for retail. You cannot beat it. And they're currently reselling for a little bit too, but it's not gonna go as much as I think, maybe in a few months and years. So that's it for the full review on the Nike Knock the Puffer in the yellow colorway. Let me know down below, guys, in the comments, did you guys pick this up? What colorway did you get? I know it was a pretty expensive retail at $400, but for resale wise, I do not see this doing nothing until maybe next winter. Just for the fact that, I mean, people are probably not gonna pay, pay resale over Nike jackets. I mean, I think it's pretty clean though. I'm gonna keep it for the personal. And overall, guys, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel since we're on the grind to 650 subscribers. Hit that bell so you don't miss one of my videos. And that will be it for the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.